What is going on, Cubs fam? Today is Galactic Legend Kit Day, I think. It is Galactic Legend Kit Day, I should say. If precedent holds, it should be today. I'll bet you guys, let's see here. I'll bet you karaoke song on my Twitch stream on it that we're going to see both of these kits today. So stay tuned. Later today, we'll have another video coming out likely on those assuming CG holds form. Today, we've got some wicked speculation to do. Um, some new portraits in the, or some new character art in the game that could be significant, could be tied to Galactic Legends. You will have to wait and see what that is going to look like, but I think it probably means something. And then also, Marvel Strike Force got their version of mods. What does it look like, and why is it a million times better than Galaxy of Heroes? I'm going to tell you why and show you in this video. Is that enough for you guys to chew on? Speaking of mods, by the way, check out the link down below in the description. There's a guy named Pimpo out there, and he is the mod matchmaker. He will come out and he'll be like, matchmaker, matchmaker, find me a mod, put it on Palpatine. I'm, I'm embarrassing myself now. Check out Pimpo down below in the description. He's sponsoring this video today. Thank you, Pimpo. All right, let's get right into it, Cubs fam. First and foremost, look at this bad boy. Totally new character art and i want to make a couple observations here we're gonna we're gonna show these side by side so this is current art in the game right now this is what it used to look like right here big difference and you can see that there's a lot of there's more polygons dare i say more detail in there his eyes look significantly more menacing in this i i'm wondering if this is indicative of things to come in the game uh, as far as what character model is going to look like who else is going to get a, a, re a rehash on their model i'd love to see more of it but more importantly does this also like why are they focusing on palpatine a lot of times when they're focusing on a character like that it means that there's going to be a rework coming with them how is palpatine potentially going to be reworked maybe to work with the new version of palpatine we've seen this by the way um with the existing galactic legends i mean just go ahead and take a gander in uh, sorry, my rank is a little bit low right now i've been slacking on my squad arena but anyone running slkr most of them are running at him with the original version of kylo it's not unheard of at all to see two of the same character in the same squad and that is no different for galactic legends i think a lot of us are focused on the likelihood of luke being ran with uh jedi luke uh, that's the the new version of luke galactic legend luke that is could palpatine be a big part of the new palpatine squad i think that's pretty safe to assume as well and is he going to get a tune-up as a result why are they focusing on his character model in particular i don't know but i think that the change here tell me if you guys agree but uh i feel like the change here is pretty positive i, I think he looks a lot <laughs> frankly a lot better i'd love to see some other characters get uh, some model adjustments like oh i don't know maybe ray jedi training who looks like uh i don't know I, uh, nothing like daisy ridley just an idea cg if you guys have people working on character models my girl ray here she's feeling pretty sad right now she looks like a potato uh, especially her Galactic Legend counterpart. I mean, she looks almost worse. Look at this. Oh, gosh. It's really bad. So, anyway, fam, we got to talk about mods in Marvel Strike Force. I'm going to give you guys a quick breakdown on what they've done in Marvel Strike Force mods and how that compares to, in my opinion, what Galaxy of Heroes mods look like. While this game is booting up, I also want to casually observe that I... And playing this game, I'm becoming a lot more addicted to it over the last few months as I've been playing it on a more committed basis. I'm now in a much more fast-paced uh, alliance, having a lot of fun. Shout out to my boys in Quantum Red if they're here on this video. And it's so frustrating, fam, to see the massive, massive difference between how much attention this game gets and how much attention Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes gets. I, I was really hoping with the unity update that we would see a lot more focus on star wars galaxy heroes similar to we see in marvel strike force i mean this update that we got today has a totally new look of the front screen they've brought in a new character scream they're bringing in another character um we got the she hulk and we've got um anti-venom and we've got a new campaign and there's just there's just so much going on here but anyway i digress so let's talk about mods in 
Marvel Strike Force. Now, what's really cool about mods is they're actually taking an approach to mods kind of like relics, only you get to decide what the, I would say, the set bonuses. And some of these bonuses even include um, adjustments to what happens, not just with your stats, but actual buffs and debuffs that get applied. And so where this starts is you have these crystals here. And so this is gonna look familiar. This kind of looks like mods, right fam? And so you equip these crystals. Now you really wanna be careful to equip them to characters that you are intending to equip them to because once you equip them, to my knowledge, you can't unequip them. And these have base stats to them that they're going to increase at level one. So right here, obviously we got four armor. I am equipping these to Black Bolt because that's a pretty solid character if you're not aware. Uh, let's see, 4% resistance there. On that one right here, we got um, some health upgrades. We've got some focus upgrades. And we've got some damage upgrades. Notice! No speed! No speed! No speed! It's amazing! Can you guys believe it? No speed at all is such a positive thing. So anyway, so you upgrade these and then you can, or so, let, me, let me back up. Once you have all five of these crystals in there, you can apply the, uh, what they call a class. This is, I'm gonna compare this kind of to the set bonus. Now what's amazing about this is you can change what this is for free. Notice the lack of RNG in here. So I'm gonna apply striker. Here, okay, so that's gonna update Black Bolt to the Striker class. Kind of a cool animation that goes with that. And look at this. On a primary hit, if the target is vulnerable, make an ISO bonus attack at 50% damage, then clear one vulnerable. This attack is based on the character's basic gain 5% damage. And so there's a little bonus there. But hey, what if I decide Striker's not for Black Bolt? I actually want him to be a healer, which he wouldn't be a healer, but let's just say that we would. I can select that. Change it free of charge. And now he gains 5% active healing. And um, for those of you playing this game, you can go in and, and check these out. And the way that this progresses is you level up the stones by finding additional, or the, uh, not stones, the, um, the crystals by finding additional crystals. And then it will let you, what they call, fuse them up to level two. Once these get up to level two, all of them, then you can level up their bonus. Their bonus will level up along with it. So it's a grind, but they've completely removed RNG from it. Basically, once everything's maxed out, to my knowledge, the only difference is going to really be which class you decide on, and you can change that freely as you wish. You can't remove these. There's no credits punishing you for shuffling these around. There's no speed. There's no RNG component here. This is how you do mods. <laughs> I love the way that they've done this. The one thing I would say I maybe don't love is they've definitely monetized the living hell out of it, which it's a mobile game, fam. It's a mobile microtransaction heavy game. That's kind of just part of the gig at this point. But the point remains, one of the biggest complaints we get in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes with mods is the RNG component and uh, the credit cost for shuffling mods around. They've removed both of those completely and bonus they aren't factoring speed in at all, which I think is such an intelligent move and very likely inspired by observing the problems that mods have confronted in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So that is a quick crash course to ISO 8 is what it's called, the Marvel Strike Force version of mods um, that they have just implemented. For those of you playing Marvel Strike Force, let me know what you think about this system down in the comments below, what you like about it next to Galaxy of Heroes mods, or if you're just here for Marvel Strike Force, tell me if you're overwhelmed. For Galaxy of Heroes players, I think this will be pretty easy to pick up on. It's a more simplistic uh, take at mods. Kind of. Again, I feel like it's almost like relics. It's more of just a linear progression system. And then you decide what the set bonus or the class will be. And being able to change that freely, man, freaking awesome. I absolutely love that. Uh, only only catch maybe is it's monetized quite a bit. And it's, it's going to be a huge grind uh, to get everyone their ISO 8. Uh, but that's about it. So, Cubs fam. Let me know what you guys think about all this business down in the comments below. Who's excited for Galactic Legend kits? 
let me know how you guys are feeling about that what are some things you are wanting to see from the kits or are you just not even interested because you're miles away from getting them i respect it i i've i've been there so anyway fam love you guys thanks so much for joining me for the video and as always my brothers don't forget